In this video, we will see the proper procedure for sampling open graded bituminous paving mixtures. Begin the sampling as soon as possible after the truck is loaded and the truck moves to the sampling rack. Using a square shovel, obtain three approximately equal size samples from three well separated locations in the truck. Create a level area by removing the surface of the pile and take the sample from approximately 12 inches below the surface. Shovel each sample directly into a metal bucket of approximately 3 to 5 gallons in capacity. Transport the mix in the bucket directly to the lab. Time and temperature are key in the process. It is important to work with a hot sample. A hot sample will reduce the risk of buildup of AC and aggregate on the tools and paper. The sampling process should be accomplished as quickly as possible, from sampling the truck to scooping the final sample. Heat the tools prior to use and getting the ignition basket boxes and paper ready prior to sampling will speed the process. When dumping the mix from the bucket onto the paper, as much as possible, the mix should be dumped in one quick motion as one mass. Do not pour the mix out of the bucket. Quickly turn the bucket upside down in one motion and lift the bucket straight up. Do not roll the mix. Manipulate the mix only enough to form a rounded pile. Insert the preheated metal cording device into the center of the pile and push down with a rocking motion through the pile to the paper. It is helpful to have a scale adjacent to the paper while reducing the samples to testing size. Place the tray and bottom basket on the scale and scoop a QC sample from opposite corners 1 and 4. With the scoop flat on the paper, push the scoop straight into the pile. Place approximately half of the required mass from one quarter into the bottom basket and place approximately half of the required mass from the opposite quarter into the top basket. A flat bottom scoop works best for this purpose. Discard the remainder of the quarters, one and four. The contractor at his option may retain the discarded material to use as a QC backup sample. Store the discarded material in a silicone lined box. And in case of a spill or malfunction, and with the engineer's approval, this material may be tested and the results used as a QC sample. After removing the materials from quarters one and four, lift the splitter from the pile and rotate it by 45 degrees. Insert the splitter into the remaining quarters to divide them into approximately four equal masses. Scoop the V or R sample from opposite quarters 2A and 3A. Scoop approximately half the required mass from one quarter into the coated box. Insert a piece of silicone paper to separate the two halves of the sample. Scoop the second half of the sample into the box from the opposite quarter on top of the paper. Repeat this procedure for the next V or R sample from the opposite corners 2B and 3B.
The order of the sampling of the V and R samples is not set out herein since this procedure followed correctly will result in duplicate samples.